Hello, everybody, and Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Happy holidays from your friends at Disillusion Play. Yeah. <laughs> so we actually kind of didn't realize that this episode was going to go up on Christmas Day somehow. Yeah. Because even though we've been sort of planning it and stuff, we've been a little bit lax the last few days, so we didn't realize uh, when it was going to go up. So, okay, so that's a thing. And yeah, so we just thought that we'd stick this on the beginning of it just to sort of wish you all a Merry Christmas. Hope you've all had like a really great year and having a great time with your family and whatnot. Or whatnot, you know, having a great time. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been like a crazy couple of, year, couple of years for us putting these videos out. And we're glad that in the, like recently we've had some traction and that <laughs> we're bringing some sort of, well, hopefully joy to you, <laughs> to you guys, uh, uh, or, at least, or, or you're at least finding us amusing to laugh at or, or whatever. Yes, yes. Also, like, it, like, thank you so much for our to our subscribers. Like, it's it's like a little, a little, a little bit goes a long way, sort of thing. Yeah, so we're been... very grateful for people sort of liking our stuff and maybe sharing it. Um, but yeah, it's been really good to see us like grow, even if it's a little bit. It's something, yeah, it's so been, it's we really been, appreciate it. It's definitely, <laughs> been it brings it brings us a lot of joy yeah. to think that we're entertaining people, and uh, it has been a crazy couple of years. And you know, we hope that uh, getting some laughs or you know the funny voices or whatever brings a little bit of joy and distraction to. Know, well, some of the bleakness that's yeah, gone absolutely. on around yeah, us. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so here's to next year being better. Absolutely. Yes. Knocking on wood for everybody's sake. <laughs> yes. And uh, you know, hope hope Santa Claus <laughs> brought you whatever you wanted. Yes. <laughs> and you know, if you like, well, as as we always say, if you like what we do and whatnot, <laughs> or, if, or maybe you've got some friends who you think are in dire need of some really boring let's plays, then uh, <laughs> why don't you throw them a link or whatnot? Throw a bone. Yeah, <laughs> and with that, I hope, hope you guys have a great 2022. Yes, stay safe, everyone, and yes. take care. Yeah. I hope Santa Claus brings me a Princess Piggle's body pillow. Oh, oh. Hey, me down. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and with that mushing over, enjoy the show, guys. See you next time. See ya. And may you all have a perfectly average normal Christmas. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Disillusion Plays, where we play the games and do the voices. Yeah. On the last episode of Dang and Rampa Trigger Happy Havoc, we had gotten into the class trial, mm -hmm. only for our recently arrived so called friend in air quotes, Kyoko, <laughs> to start basically casting doubt on Makoto and whether or not he might have actually been the one to murder possibly Mukro Ikusaba, the 16th student, the ultimate despair, hiding somewhere in the school. Um, we don't really know why she's doing that, but she is insisting that, you know, she can't die here because she's got some mysterious end that she has to pursue, I believe. Which absolutely uh, is not suspicious. Oh, sorry, wait, sorry. Sus. Sus. As hell. <laughs> she does seem like she's a bit of a sussy baka right now, yeah. I will say. <laughs> purple, purple is a little sus. Um, but anyway, before we get back into the class trial and seeing what our erstwhile friend may have in store for us, I'm Taylor. I'm Pete. And I'm Sarah. Erstwhile. And if you like what we do and want to see more of our content, why don't you hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell to get notified when we post new content, and, uh, you know, leave a like and a comment. Yeah. Or a dislike, but we can't see them now because YouTube got rid of well, them. Well, actually, so, actually, we can you know. see them, but everyone else can't. You guys can't see when, when the video's a dislike, but we can. So we know. We can, hey, we hey, can hey, still cry. Hey, hey, fingers here. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, we can still feel sad. Yes. You can make us feel sad, but you people won't know. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Break Am I wrong? I mean, at the end of the day, it's all engagement, pal, and engagement's good for the algorithm, so engage the old away. Algorithm. It would appear not. Then you're finally starting to understand. Uh, no, that's not actually true. There was a clear oh, contradiction <laughs> in what Kyoko just told us. And obviously, uh, in, that thing she, in that thing she just said just uh, a moment ago. Oh, shit. Uh, what did she say again? Yeah, uh, <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure there'll be a helpful flashback in about 2.5 seconds. I, I, See, I, this... I daren't press a button for hit. I don't know what the history button is because every time I do it, <laughs> depending on, I, I like, because it's the opposite button on each game. And on this game, it's like the button I press will 
Adv- it'll just go into auto advance yeah. mode. And I did the oh same God, thing in, yeah. in, uh, in, in Great Ace Attorney. You did. Uh, I know what's going to happen now. The one time we need Makoto to give oh, us... Oh, transcript. There we go. There it is. The one time we need him to say what happened, he won't say it. <laughs> Obviously no way of getting in without the room key. Oh, that was that it. Was it. Yeah, that no. was it. But this... This just isn't like her. To try and save herself with such a desperate lie. Yeah, it's a bit of a mm. battle of wits at the minute, because, yeah, it's like... I mean, because she, she has that secret key that would have let her put the stuff into her own room. Mm. Does she really feel that threatened? Because she's the killer? Or is it something else? Was there some deeper meaning hidden in what Kyoko said earlier? If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Which is why I can't let that happen. This is a trap that the Mastermind has laid for us. The Mastermind's trap. The Mastermind is trying to trap Kyoko? But what if that's not really true? What can I do? Oh, Dizzy. Oh, spin that. Why is the room oh. spinning? What should I do? What should I do? <laughs> do oh, no. what should I? Oh, no. Despair. <laughs> Uh-oh. The mastermind's trap? The victim was Mukuro? And Kyoko killed her? What does Kyoko really know? Psycho Mantis? <laughs> Nano Machines? What am I supposed to do? Kyoko's lie. I'm the only one who knows it's a lie. I'm the only one who can expose it. But who can I... Okay, can we lay off the ellipsis, Makoto? Please. Yes. <laughs> can I trust? But who? But I can. I don't know. <laughs> Who I <laughs> can trust. Clearly, this is a very Scotty. tense moment, guys. He's having to take a few deep Actually, breaths. To be fair, hang on, guys. We're spoiling the sad times. We are. We need to dial Stop it back. It. Behave. We're, we're ruining Slap again. wrists. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? To do supposed to, am I what? <laughs> is, uh, Pete, have you, like, gone back on the dialogue? Because I swear we just read this. No. He's just going into a stupor. Um, <laughs> The mastermind's I'm just trap. waiting for you to read your lines so I can advance the text. <laughs> if you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Am I wrong? What do I do? I have to decide right here and now whether or not to expose Kyoko's lie. <coughs> run, run away. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> no, don't. We don't. We don't need Disney on us. So, what do we think, team? Ooh, take it down. No. But she's lying. Why she lie? Because she knows something. I wonder if. Uh, I don't. To run away. No. Let's not run away. That's the coward's way out. Send it down. No, that's cruel. But but she's lying. I suppose the only thing is, if we wind up getting framed because of that, then... I feel there's more to this. Probably let it go, honestly. There's probably some angle that we haven't mm. seen just yet. I've made my decision. I have to believe in Kyoko. There's no way she would kill someone. Believe in the me, the there has to be some me. secret here, something that has to do with the Mastermind's trap that Kyoko mentioned. Well... Does no one have a rebuttal? <laughs> have you decided to accept her assertion as fact? Uh, I see. So you still refuse to accept just it. Let me think for a minute. <laughs> I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room, that it was someone else. But who could, who else could it have been? I mean, Byakuya had a room key, right? Y you? What are you trying to imply? 
<laughs> but of course, I have an alibi. From night time on, I was with you guys the entire time. That's a weird thing for Biaki to say. Mm. Like, for instance, I was with you guys. <laughs> just, it just doesn't sound like the sort of like the, no, the way he would say it. Because he softened a little bit. I was bit. with you, plebeians. <laughs> Plebeian. I, I was, I, I decided to grace you things with my presence. <laughs> you should be thanked. I couldn't possibly have killed anyone, or put the key in Kyoko's room. Well, someone had to put the key in there. There's only one other possibility I can think of. Someone could have <clears throat> someone could have had the key on them. Then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. What? It, it had to be Makoto, uh, right? I don't see any other option. Wait a second, you've got it all wrong. Let's think about it one more time. There's got to be a hidden side to this case. Huh? A hidden side? First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. You all see it, don't you? <laughs> Your silence speaks volumes, Monokuma. Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, so hidden somewhere within the school who we didn't even know existed, suddenly shows up dead and then we're thrown into a trial. No. No, we are not doing this again. No, <laughs> I do not want this. <laughs> <laughs> and Kyoko even said it's a trap the mastermind set for us. So that's why uh, this has to be. Okay, time's up. Uh-oh. Did we get the bad ending? Huh? Time's up. Class trial's all over. Everyone can stop talking now. Oh! Oh, that's a face. Oh, that's a face. Time's up? That's the face of a man defeated. What do you mean, time's up? There's no time's up since when have we... It's because you were late. So we had to push back the start time. Oh, boy. So then, it's time for voting time, okay? Everyone, please vote using the letter in front of you. Oh, boy. Voting time? Did we fuck up? <laughs> oh, okay, this this is not good. We killed the protagonist! <laughs> well, to be fair, it's not done the usual thing where if you game over, it's like, oh, well, it's Makoto, blah, 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 and then it just true. goes game over, so. Hmm. Hmm. Now, who will be chosen as the Blacken? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait! <laughs> Hey, hold on! What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? <laughs> He's too happy about this. Yeah. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, shit. Uh-oh. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh, so, no. what I'm hearing is, we fucked it. We fucked it, mate. What? You think I'm the killer? Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, sorry. It's all your fault. <clears throat> Everyone, you're wrong. You've got it all wrong. I didn't do it. Good job, everyone. G good job? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they got it right. N no, I know that's not true. None of this makes any sense! This whole trial doesn't make any sense! It makes perfect sense! It's the same as always! It's just like all the other class trials! And I'm gonna end it the same way! Uh -oh. You know what that means! Oh no! It's time for your heart-pounding, positively thrilling punishment! Uh-oh. Wait, why do I... Kyoko! I don't expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. Kyoko? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Uh, but if then the we die anyway. the machine doesn't kill you, the fall will. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully there's some mattresses he can land on. Yeah. Huh? Huh? What's this? What's going on? Hey, was that? Oh, 
Yeah, it had to be! Uh, alter Ego? <laughs> alter Ego? Is that... is this some stupid virus from that stupid guy? He must have planted it when he invaded my network! Damn it all to hell! I don't believe this! It seems you finally made a miscalculation. No. You miscalculated from the very beginning. What was that? What I'm saying is you shouldn't have underestimated us. <laughs> Why are you talking like you've already won? I barely felt a thing. It was a pinch. An itch. The stupid virus is gone now. Got it? And so is Makoto. Maybe I didn't get to smash him flat, but you're never gonna see him again! To waste away in a garbage-strewn pit! In a way, that's an even better special punishment! <laughs> but it's still not enough! I'm still not satisfied! I'm still gonna bring despair to the rest of you! Bring despair to the entire world! That <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh, that hood spell. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gone? Hey, Kyoko, what's the meaning of all this? Just what the hell is going on? It's okay. We're not the ones being trapped this time. Huh? Now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. What are you talking about? You'll understand soon enough. Very soon indeed. Eh? Hmm. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world, though this is the stuff from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. Oh no, we've got to play it through the entire game again! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I quit. <laughs> it brings in top students from every field imaginable government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students <laughs> was me. Uh... This is a bit weird. Mm. <laughs> like, what's going on? What? What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a- So I suppose my hope that we might be reprieved from Makoto's monologuing was in vain. <laughs> I'm afraid, yes. Well, it didn't- he didn't then explain to us about all of the other students, so it's not totally just reset, mm. but- I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. I'm somewhat perplexed. My body felt... heavy. There's that word again! <laughs> heavy! <laughs> It wouldn't be weird for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? It wasn't any classroom I'd ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Uh... <laughs> finally. I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together again. And then... I was awake. Presumably not sitting in or, a classroom. Mm. Was this just another dream? A dream inside a hopeless nightmare? No. This isn't a dream. I could tell because the stench invading my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. It was in a vast, dark cavern with the barest hint of light. It looks okay. pretty bright. Really? 
It yeah, looks pretty I mean, bright. I could take out. Me the, it reminds me a little bit of when Maya got kidnapped in the original Phoenix <laughs> yeah, Wright. Yeah. It's like, it's so dark, I can barely see in here. It's like, Maya, yeah. we can literally see everything. Like, I can barely see my hand in front of my face. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> With the barest hint of light seeping in, trash was piled high all across the area. This must be some kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in. But that was just the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be stuck in there till I wasted away and died? No, I can't let that happen. Well, at least you're in the trash pile. Not after what my good friend went through to save me. Yeah, I'm just waiting for like the monster to come up in the water and then the walls to start closing in. Oh god, this is Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, it, sorry, they legally distinct. I understood that reference. War stores. War stores. <laughs> yes. I remembered all too well what had happened. Alter ego. Alter ego. Saved me. Look at that cross patch face. Very, very, very cross. Very, very, very determined. Very, very cross. Very cross. <laughs> and she used up the last little bit of her strength to do it. I mean, what do you? How do you know that? Mm. <laughs> what? What? So I can't give up now. For myself. For my friend. And with that, my pursuit of survival began. First step was to start looking for a way out of there. Okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, gang. The cursor is green mm. instead of yellow. Living in a goddamn garbage can. <laughs> okay, so I guess should we look at the? I guess we best look at the garbage. We best look at the garbage, pal. Uh. Oh, hey, there's a, a copy of Final Fantasy 13 in here. Oh. <laughs> I I don't get the reference. He's shit. He's taking a steaming shit on Final Fantasy 13. I just wonder why a plane made him think about Final Fantasy 13. Uh, mm. <laughs> I was just making a joke about garbage. Is that mm. an airplane? How would something like that wind up in the school's garbage pit? Yeah, good question. That's an awfully small airplane. It really is. Yeah, maybe it's like a glider or something. But there's no banana for scale. Yeah. This is... <laughs> yeah. A desk. Without a banana, there's no way we can tell how big no. any of this is. It's probably the one that fell down here with me. Okay, and then there's whatever this is. That's a. Is this the rocket from the beginning, from the beginning it of the game? Look like yeah. It, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a rocket and a tank? But that. I well, better not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. I was going to say that rocket went back into the classroom, didn't it? But I suppose then it probably he probably chucked down the garbage afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Monokumo. Right. Monokumo. The, everyone knows that rockets are only one use. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it locked. It's locked. What's he rattling? There's no handle on the door. Yeah, like, I don't know. Just, I was wondering the same thing. Just, it's like, like shoving like... against, pressing against the door. <laughs> Yeah, rattle it again, Makoto. No matter how many times I pushed or pulled or kicked at it, it, it didn't budge. Getting out of here isn't going to be that easy. Well, if I'm not getting out of here anytime soon, I decided to look around for some mm, food. Ew. Garbage food. <laughs> well, he did Gross. say it's survival time. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. But that was pointless, too. Next, I search for some water. Better drink my own piss. How can I be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are an all-around bad idea? Good point. Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked in on all sides. But that's still not enough reason to give up, because... Because I'm still alive! As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up! After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was sit on my ass and drink my own piss. No! <laughs> Cry myself to sleep. Cry myself to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> to sleep. There you go. Got it. When in doubt, just fucking sleep it off. <laughs> my sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left 
after not being able to eat. It's if literally that, been five minutes. If that place <laughs> smells as bad as he yeah, said it I does, there's no way you'd there. sleep. No. Like, I feel like you just wouldn't be able to. You'd it have to be, like, the weakest of weak to yeah, fall you'd asleep have to be, in yeah, that yeah, place. Yeah. I mean, I guess he has fallen down the thing, but you'd think that the adrenaline would be going at that point, That's true, you? So yeah. he wouldn't be able to sleep. He'd literally be in, like, flight. You know, the flight. thing is, why doesn't he start, like, smashing the lock with all the various That's, things yeah, there? I guess yeah, he doesn't have that much strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to have passed. Literally five And minutes. all I did was sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign. Not exactly. <laughs> it's like the monitor Wouldn't with it be G shit the if he laid directly under the shoe? And then Monokuma took something very heavy. Well, yeah, down I was about, I was about to say, like the monitor with like Chihiro on, on yeah. just like just <laughs> It'll be the key, right? Gut crunch. Gut crunch. crunch. Well, that's a funny sound for a key. Gut crunch. Oh, oh some more, what some the? more garbage has come down. The strange sound pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched, the pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Did something fall down over there? Hmm. Something fell from up above. Could it have been? They've all put themselves in bin bags to join him. <laughs> <laughs> That's why one of them's green. It's like Mia the color of Byakuya's jacket. Yeah. Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? I carefully stretched my hand out toward whatever it was that had tumbled down here with me. A giant piece of trash? Rude. Oh, Taylor, you, you're going to guess it's Kyoko. I mean, that does make sense. I imagine that was uh, Aoi. Before she, maybe before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who It'll it was. Yeah. Oh no! It, ah, nice. So, nice. This place smells awful. Ky Kyoko. Nice. Uh, nice hat. Yes. Cup. Go Goku bit. Go <laughs> Goku by Goku by. I don't know. I don't know. You look like you're doing better than I expected. What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to help you. I'm glad to hear that, And Makoto Kyoko. will have forgotten that she's got the key that can open any lock. You did bring the key, right? Uh, <laughs> you've, uh, you've, you've got a, uh, you got something in your, uh, your hair. <laughs> oh! Uh, uh, she gave her head a quick, sharp shake to get rid of the trash, then faced me again. First, I have something for you. Hmm. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you're finished. <gasps> Thank you! I snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me. <laughs> Within seconds, it was in my mouth and making it... <laughs> Why is he so detailed about it? <laughs> like... No, it, you're just gonna sick it back out, Makoto. <laughs> it passed straight through me. My ass felt tense, uh, and then all of a sudden, a volcano. I felt this heat. Uh, this no, wasn't a I fart. just my mind went into the gutter when I read the statement. Within seconds, it was in my mouth oh. and making its way toward my stomach. Well, it, that's a huge dick. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Like just all the way through. Oh, anyway. Anyway. Demonetized. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. I didn't say anything. No, well, you didn't need to. Once you said your mind went in the gutter, you promptly made ours follow. So well done. Because <laughs> I wasn't thinking of it like that. I dragged you down into the underground garbage pit you with did. me. Yes. You did. Actually, you know what? This is where Sarah and I's brains live. <laughs> yes. I thought it seemed familiar. <laughs> Jesus. Just full of Phew, that really hit the spot. Just full of Monokuma rockets. <laughs> now I've got all the energy I need to keep going. That quickly. Wow. wow. <laughs> so you still haven't given up then? Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is about all I'm good at. Hmm. Well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. Speaking of you being all smug and s s all, all smug, when are you gonna talk to me about what you did? What you did? Yeah. yeah. How about the frame job up there? Yeah. I can't believe you've done this. Yeah. The whole, <laughs> like the whole, I don't know, killing Mukuro Ikasara and all that sort of stuff. Do you want to explain yourself, girl? You wanna explain Missy? why you wanted me to die? <laughs> yeah. Funk. But Kyoko, 
Why did you come to rescue me? Oh my me? god. I could have not. To pay a debt, or no, to atone. Atone? During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So you knew that I knew that you knew that I knew that I knew that you knew that I knew that you knew I was lying. But even though I knew that you knew that you knew that I knew that I knew that you knew that you knew that I knew, I did nothing to help you. I abandoned you. Don't say that! You didn't abandon me! Everyone else did, but... No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me, and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. Wow. Damn. But listen, not that I'm trying to make excuses, but there was a reason that I had to survive, no matter the cost. I can't offer you any reason other than that. I really am sorry. Oh, okay. I just, why does it give you these prompts? I know. They're so dumb. Why did you have to survive? Because people die when they're killed. <laughs> Except for you, because you've, you're protected by plot armor, apparently. <laughs> well, I mean, Makoto's armor is like a tier below, like when a, an anime is named after a character or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, you know, he fell yeah. that f Well, and to be fair, actually, both of them fell that far and didn't die. Mm -hmm. So, And they haven't even got broken bones or anything. Yeah, so, I mean, pretty you impressive. Know, pretty bouncy. Obviously, the floor is made out of rubble. I'll tell you. Yeah. Oh, what, wrong one. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. The reason I have to survive <clears throat> is so that I can do what I came to... Oh. Great. Thanks, Kyoko. That explains it. So that I can do what I came to this school to do. What? I made up my mind to come to Hope Speak Academy for one very important reason. So you have some <laughs> reason for coming to Hope's Peak? <laughs> That's what I just said. <laughs> she just fucking said that! <laughs> That's right. At least, I did. Once. Once? Until recently, I'd forgotten what it was. You forgot? But Illegal! That's... <laughs> I had no memory of what my purpose was. I have no memory of this place. <laughs> no memory? That's impossible! Impossible. <laughs> impossible. Amnesia? Then, is it really true? Well, guys, I mean, I've never heard of an anime where someone has nah. forgotten something. <laughs> nah, me neither. And then I'm they've just sure kind of hung out with a bunch so of other unusual. people. That, I'm pretty sure that's like the opening to every anime, isn't it? That's the, like the initial plot of about just about every single one is, uh, I've got amnesia, guys. Well, I, except, for when it's, except for when it's like an average high schooler who's more jacked than an Olympic <laughs> athlete, who isn't, who's inexplicably good at fighting, but like not really, but they're hard-headed and have a good heart, and they have to then get training in order to beat the, up their... I'm just Nemesis. your average high school. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh boy. Yep, 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 yep. Sorry. <laughs> Jotaro Kujo continues to give me body image issues. Anyway, <laughs> then is it really true? You lost your memory? Do you remember Makoto? It's a bit rich no! coming from you. You couldn't remember anything. <laughs> Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at the school? Mm, we walked through the gate. We went in and we were like, huh, this is strange. Everything's turning into a whirlpool. And then we appeared in a classroom mm -hmm. with no idea why. The first thing? You're talking about when we fainted, right? Actually, I think the first thing was that they walked through the gate, actually. I fainted and when I woke up, I was trapped here. I fainted too. And when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself. A disconnect. Ah, yes. Thinking back on it now, at that point my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't <laughs> remember why I'd come to this school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. The fact that I can go Ultra Instinct. <laughs> but what would make you forget all that? Hit my head on the way down. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because... I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the Mastermind. They stole my memory. But, but, 
Why would they want to do that? Why would they want to do that? No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> do. <laughs> do. There's do. only Bruh. one reason Bruh. I can Bruh. come up with. Because of my purpose and my ability. Somehow, they would interfere with the Mastermind's plans. So the Mastermind just stole them from you? And it could also mean... Somehow, my memories may be connected to the mystery of this school and the Mastermind. Which is why I have to get them back. That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? Is it really that? Uh, is it really that strange? <laughs> You're all idiots. Yeah. If I did that and we all worked as one, the Mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always the chance that the Mastermind is actually one of it us. It could even be you. <laughs> I mean, that would be a bit of a twist, wouldn't it? Mm. If, if uh, Makoto was actually the Mastermind. Yeah. It's like... He could be anyone in this very room. <laughs> he could be you. He could be me. He could even be. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, that's a TF2 reference. I was going to say, I'm like, I know the reference, but I'm like, what is this? What is this? Yes, of course yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. <laughs> well, don't make too big a deal out of it. Of it, it's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? The mastermind. One of us. If she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. In which <clears> case, <throat> it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. That being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? Because among everyone, <laughs> you were least likely to be the mastermind. <laughs> Rude. That was just intuition, but then I just noticed you asking the same question about five <laughs> times. <laughs> I just thought, unfortunately, oh no mastermind could be that stupid. <laughs> I, I see. I'm not really sure how I feel about that, but okay. Thanks, Thank you I for that guess. revelation. <laughs> your, intu oh, your intuition was right, though. There's no way an ordinary kid... An ordinary, average I'm high school say, student <laughs> like me could have been the mastermind. Say, when it he, when could he's, possibly well, be an average school child. When he literally <laughs> sort of points out, yes, because I am an ordinary child. It just makes me think of the Steve Buscemi, hello, fellow children, or hello, oh, fellow yeah. kids. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like, it's just like I don't what know. What up, my dudes? <laughs> so silly. Oh, for God's sake. I understand. He's monologue, isn't he? Yep. I should... Understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Okay. Hey. What? Hey. I think this is. Th see, yeah. this is the problem, isn't it? This is what happens when he thinks too much. Yeah. It's just like the dream I had before, but why did that just happen? Are you okay? Uh, oh yeah, it's nothing. It is nothing, right? Mm. Even now, I still trust you, you know. It's just, I'm not used to relying on others. I know I never asked you for help the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. Hmm. I think that's just her personality. Okay. Right, well, uh... uh let's get out of this dump. Let's try the door. Oh my! I'd better talk to Kyoko. Yeah. What do you, what do you think we've been doing this whole time? Poor Taylor's mon like talking to himself right now. <laughs> you said you had a reason for doing all that investigating on your own. So how did that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? I think there's still a lot I don't remember, but at the very least, I was finally able to recall my purpose and my ability. Mm. Let's find out what she is. What she you is. mentioned your ability a little bit ago, and just two seconds ago. My ability, what everyone should have known me for. Oh. oh. I mean, it seemed... We had kind it, of guessed yeah. that. It seems kind yeah. of obvious, right? Yeah, considering she was so calm around you know, dead bodies and investigating yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's like, didn't that, didn't like, the beginning of the game, we were kind of making the joke that she was, like, the ultimate detective was like, I've been solving cases since I was five years old. I mean, I feel like we probably and did. It's, it's <laughs> just... It's like she's just at the murder scene in diapers. Oh, God. Oh, God, God. <laughs> just he just did poking it. the corpse. <laughs> squish, squish, squish. <laughs> I, 
I'm the ultimate detective. Oh, for God's sake. The ultimate de- <laughs> detective? What? Metal Psycho Gear? Psycho Mantis? <laughs> yep, yep. Ah. And the reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Ah. There was someone I had to find here in the school. Why don't they just make this a... Yeah. Okay. yeah. You had to find someone? Who? Well... It was the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. The headmaster? Why did you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my oh. dun, dun, father. Dun. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Strange. It wasn't... It, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> hmm. Which, which I suppose explains why she was so determined to try and find him. I mean, that, that would explain it. <laughs> and... Yeah. If he's a daddy. And I suppose if the yeah, if the headmaster was the mastermind, that'd be kind of shit. What? I was separated from him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Kyoko's dad is Hope's Peak's head Hope's Peak's headmaster? Yeah, that It's an awkward it, sentence. It's Hope's Peak's Yeah, that makes sense. It is Hope's Peak, isn't it? Not Hope Peak. Hope. Hope's yeah. Peak headmaster. No, Hope's yeah. Peak. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's should, like yeah, double it should, plural. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's no, like it weird, really. Peak. No, no, it is right. It's just weird. Yeah, it's weird, yeah. <laughs> then that explains when Alter Ego told us how she thought the headmaster was involved. I'll find a way. Huh? No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter the cost. Uh, Kyoko? What's going on? I'm fine. Uh, My memory hadn't come back at that point, but when he said that, I felt strange. It makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose for coming here was to find him. That makes sense, sort of. (laughs) But listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear so there's no misunderstanding. I said the headmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said what I felt based on what I'd seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. Then what did you see in there? The room had been ransacked. The shelves were a mess. The desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there. You mean the mastermind, right? That was my assumption, yes. And to confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I'd found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. Ooh. This is some kind of map? It's a layout of the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. I found it in the headmaster's room, along with Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student hidden somewhere in the school's profile. <laughs> <laughs> The map showed that the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant for faculty use. Some of the staff must have had to stay overnight from time to time. And I figured the headmaster would have some kind of private room there. I assumed that if that were true, that room would likely hold more clues. So I went to check. And that's when I finally remembered. I remembered that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. Hmm. So you went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there. But once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the dorms didn't have any cameras or monitors. Mm, now, I, oh, yes. So what was it like? That part of the school, I mean. It's hard to describe, although all I can say is, the moment I saw it, I realized whatever's going on in this school is more horrific than we ever imagined. Damn. What do you mean? I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself. And I'm sure you'll get your chance soon enough. It sounds like it must be important. And really ominous. Mm. I'm gonna take a drink of water. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably for the well, best, well, Taylor's bet. voice is just dying right now. <laughs> F in chat for Taylor's vocal cords. Absolutely. It's, uh... It's really, uh, they're really doing a bit of an exposition dump on us right now. Yeah, just a bit. Just a bit. <clears throat> so, yeah. No so, cameras yeah. and monitors. Oh. Which is why I had no idea what was going on. 
What's the name? Just the fact. <laughs> click the text. No, it's just the fact that like I obviously I clicked on that other one and that actually wasn't the thing to do this time. It has to do with Mukuro Ikusama, doesn't it? <laughs> just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her, and I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right, but that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi. So then, who did kill her? What I can say for sure is that the mastermind is directly Well, involved. I mean, you know, again, to sort of, like, think about the sort of thing Mia would say, rather than sort of looking at the things we have now, mm. like, you know, if you eliminate all other options, then it has to be... Who is, who's the only other person what left? is the truth. <laughs> yeah, like, who's the only other person? Well, the mastermind, so it has mm. to be them, right? Although I did do that in the last, you know, in the, the Great Ace Attorney and ruled the idea that it was this guy who was absolutely not related in any way. <laughs> well, unless, unless he is, mm. but who knows? <laughs> To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mukuroiku Saba, the 16th student, the ultimate despair hidden somewhere within the school, was to get me killed. <laughs> get you killed? I stole that key and disappeared, and in retaliation they wanted to draw me out and eliminate but me. But you took the bait instead. <laughs> that was the point of the class trial. It was? The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean, because of the school regulations? Exactly. <laughs> With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. The mastermind is adamant about following the rules. With that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. The master uh, couldn't step in because of the rules. She just, just fucking said that. <laughs> well, he you said. know, here's the thing that gets me though. Like, so the they still broke the rules though because Makoto wasn't the blackened. Yeah. So Whoa. if technically he should have, well, I guess no. no. Makoto wasn't the blackened. Doesn't that mean everyone? No, no, died? because he's trying to. Well, he's a stickler for rules, but I guess with the trial being a sham. They just sort of let it go ahead because yeah. everyone believe because right, but it's like, but but if you if you if you yeah. basically blame the wrong person, if you yeah, vote the wrong person, then the one who did it gets to graduate, and everyone else yeah, gets so killed. It, but Makoto wasn't the person who did it, so the Blacken should have graduated, but nobody else graduated. So then everybody should either be dead or the mastermind broke the rules yeah, anyway. Yeah, because they if they like if they wanted to kill Kyoko, they had an opportunity to but do then it because they could, could also, have killed everybody else. But you could you could also argue that none of them were the blackened. Mm. None of them were the blackened. So if it was the mastermind, would they have then had to basically just kill all of them? And in that case, that stops the show. Yeah. The, like you know, right? But it's so. Yeah. But if they're that much no, no, of a stickler for the rules, again, it's well, like. Well, I mean, we're, I mean, we're, we're literally basing this entirely on Kyoko's assumptions. Yeah, I guess. So, well, and Monokuma too. Monokuma, they made a point of saying that Monokuma has to follow all mm -hmm. the school regulations mm -hmm. as well. Then maybe it's a little uh, plot hole mm -hmm. inconsistent there. That makes it sound like the mastermind. The can we check the school regulations really quick? Uh, this is gonna bug me. Yeah, 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 it's all right. I'm just—I was bottom. being dumb, <laughs> dude. Students may reside only within the school. Yep. Nighttime. Yep. Sleeping in it. Yep. With minimal. Yep. Yep. Will graduate unless they are discovered. Mm. Yep. Once emergencies, participation is mandatory for all surviving students. Yep. If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. Yep. If the guilty party is not exposed, they alone will graduate and all remaining students will be executed. But Makoto wasn't the guilty party. Mm -hmm. So but there's either a blatant, glaring inconsistency or there's something we don't know mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. 
<laughs> I just looked across and I saw Sarah pulling quite the face. <laughs> she was Don't expecting it. it. Don't fucking do it. I think, Don't. I didn't I think, say it. I think the mystery of like, if you're going to do it or not, is what also makes it more fun. Because it means that Sarah's bracing herself every time. And then sometimes you do it and sometimes you don't. <laughs> so I'm just glad it, you find this amusing. Because it makes it all the more annoying. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. Right. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> What's that? There was a point where Mukuro Ikusawa, the 16th student, the ultimate... Now you just did that on purpose! School, ...may not have become the victim. It could have been you, Makoto. What? 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 now? I could have become the victim? You know what I'm talking about. No. Right? Oh, right, that dude hovering over the bed. Oh. With the knife. Yeah. Do you mean flashback? <laughs> Here it is. During the night? <clears throat> I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the. Oh, yes. Okay. A very normal thing. Yes. God of death? <laughs> Hades? What? <laughs> she can hear, like, Barrett Von Zies? Von Zies? <laughs> the Reaper of the Bailey? Oh, what? sorry. <laughs> I can I can hear the god of Kyoko. Did you did like you hit really hit <laughs> your head? You got a concussion the there, love. Down. That packet of noodles was really hard, <laughs> and as she hit it, the force of her hitting it heated it so much that it actually cooked them and softened them. <laughs> I can hear the god of death's moves. That ability naturally draws me into cases just like this, which is exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms and I had a sudden sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell, and I saw a white shadow cross the corridor. Okay. I gave chase right away. As I followed it, I saw the shadow go into your room. Wom. <laughs> I ran into your room, and I saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. That wasn't the end of things, of course. I stopped him, but that led to, of course. <laughs> Whoever that mass assailant was, they ended up dead, of course. <coughs> and, their murderer was, and their murder was disguised and the dojo key wound up in my room. It all has to be the work of the mastermind in an attempt to use the class trial to eliminate me. So all this would mean that whoever killed Mukuro was also the mastermind, right? I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. But that's really bad if true. Really bad if... <laughs> big if true. <laughs> But that's really bad if true is such a clumsy yeah. sense. It means the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, but doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the class trial to try and kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? Yeah, they're You're interfering. Right. That is a contradiction. And it's not just Mukuro. They needed the class trial. Oh, so, okay, here so, we go. Now so this are, is the oh. thing. We didn't advance the text. Yeah. Again. <laughs> They needed the class trial to kill me, but seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. So, what does it all mean? What does it mean? It means that the mastermind is the one who's been... Maybe somebody's hijacked... Monokuma. Well, one of the others. Like, so, so... Yeah, I, like, somebody... Monokuma was disassembled and everything else. He was deactivated. Mm -hmm. And then he was reactivated, but he was reactivated by somebody who took out the mastermind. Mm. And mm -hmm. then that's the reason why they stopped giving a crap about the rules. So are you suggesting mm. that there is perhaps some kind of 17th student? Because it's all, it can't be one of the others because they were all in the class trial. Yeah. How are they controlling Monokuma? So are you suggesting that there is some other mystery person? Other mystery figure, faculty person, mm. maybe. Huh? Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. The identity of... <laughs> the other ultimate despair. Well, because you have to remember... The other You ultimate have to remember despair. that we've now learned that Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student hiding somewhere in the school, is not actually the ultimate despair, but is in fact the ultimate soldier. The other ultimate despair?! There's no doubt that Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th oh student, was the ultimate despair, <laughs> and that she's dead. Well, she wasn't the ultimate despair, though. The freaking paperwork said she was the ultimate soldier. 
But I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. It's not? If you think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. It does? You're talking about... What happened a year ago? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. Whoever's responsible for that, they're the ultimate despair? That despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Then they're... Make no mistake. They're the root of all the evil that has forced us to go through this. Dang. Mm. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. Da 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 da. We Pain did of a junk food junkie. <laughs> I don't get how that came in, no. honestly. No. Nobody died. Mm. What is that? It's a rocket. Oh. It's a rocket it's, ship. It's absolutely a rocket. It's a rocket, mm. it's a rocket ship. It's a rocket and nothing else. That looks a pretty suspicious shape, if you ask me. <laughs> the ultimate despair. A group of people who caused the tragedy, tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. <laughs> it's not well, this... That's... That it's not the squid, squid game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that wasn't broadcast around the world either. That's true. I suppose you had to pay a lot of money mm. for that. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. Has it? Uh, but right now, I have more dialogue with Kyoko. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> but actually we gotta die. get out of the place, Taylor. There's no time. <laughs> Side note, hydrating is important. Impo yeah. important. It's important <laughs> for any aspiring voice. Hydrating yeah. is important, so make sure to do it often. <laughs> Especially if you have to do talk to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right now we have to get out of this horrible place. If only I had brought the key. <laughs> what? Darn, I really should have thought that one should have thought that one through. <laughs> Figuring out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, you're right. Let's go! Come on. Rattle, rattle. Rattle, rattle. It's locked, but we have a way to open this door. Oh, yeah. Let yeah. me out! <laughs> <laughs> Kyoko, do you still have that one Why thing? Be... Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Of course I do. It's an absolutely vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. And it can open any door in the school, right? That's right. Then we should be able to use it on that door, right? <laughs> Only after you've advanced through five more dialogue <laughs> <laughs> reaction button. For God's sakes! <laughs> just do it! Can we just thing? leave? Just, just do it! it. <laughs> just do the thing! Hey, Kyoko, we can use that key of yours to open this you door, just right? Let's Please, find out. let it work, for the love of Christ. Yoko took out the key with the Monokuma design on it and slid it into the Wait, is this hole. the tool? I can't remember. Was this the tool? Yes. Oh, so it's just... So yes, it's it keeps saying tool, and they just mean master key. Master the freaking hole. key. Horishly accepted the key into its tight oh. embrace. Oh, Taylor, no. no. Don't turn into Toko. Ew. Yes, it opened. Thank goodness. Thank God. Now we can get out of here. Yes, let's go. Let's please go. But now you've got to click on the door again. We're not going to just no. leave. You're going to have to click on the door and exit through. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Oh no, for once it advanced itself. <laughs> finally. We were finally free, in a manner of speaking. But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief. Because the real fight had just begun. Round what? Fight! <laughs> Chapter yeah, six. No. Oh! Oh boy. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, <laughs> ultimate execution, ultimate death! <laughs> After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney. 
There was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. Those look at my skirt. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, no, we get to look at the skirt, but not Mako. Hey, hey, hey any, guys, any don't you think the angles in anime are a little <laughs> bit weird? I was weird? just about to say that. I do think it's funny, though, that Mako doesn't get to look, but we do. Yeah. It's, ugh. Baka, don't you dare look at my skirt. <laughs> See, this is, yeah. Wait, no. wait, the, the ladder was impossibly long, so you know what that means, Pete. You know what you've got to yeah, put in Yeah, don't do it, and I'll do it. <laughs> don't do it, and I will, I will put it in. <laughs> I couldn't even see where it ended. We climbed into the darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped. <laughs> was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me, but we can somehow see everything in total <laughs> detail. <laughs> well, because if, there, if it wasn't lit... From, be from below, we wouldn't be able to see up Kyoko's skirt. I mean, that is true. <laughs> we will be able to get I mean, the fan that's, service. That's there. why this shot needs uh, to be there. You know, and it's a it's a bold choice trying to climb a ladder in those I heels, mean, too. Yeah, girl. I mean, I, I can't walk in heels, never mind climb well, a ladder. I, I mean, so this speaks to my complete lack of knowledge, but wouldn't the fact that they've got the heels, wouldn't that sort of act as like an almost like a, a, a hook yeah, they to latch onto the Yeah, they the probably steps? would. Unless, well, unless it's like you accidentally put weight on the heel yeah. part, yeah. like too much of to, an angle, and the heel snaps. I kind of feel like Kyoko would be a bit too clever for that, though. Yeah, I, I suppose yes, it would it would work, but you'd have to make sure that you aim it like up into the yeah into the groove I, I, of I the think heel. Kyoko and the sole. could probably do that, though, right? Probably. I will also say that skirt is entirely impractical for investigating crime. It really? Stuff. Why are the corpses going to look up? Well, yeah, because if you've got to bend down to look <laughs> at stuff, Pete. <laughs> What yeah. are you going to anyway, do? Anyway, boys. It's almost like it was intentional. Anyway, She's just a cheeky girl. Anyway, when you two have quite finished discussing Kyoko, Kyoko's panties, uh, well, I'm afraid oh. time is actually up. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, that just came, that came around, didn't it? <laughs> Indeed, it, it has. There's just a lot of Taylor talking, and then suddenly the episode ended. Yes, I'm afraid so. So you're going to have to get Welcome your... to Disillusion Plays, where Taylor talks to himself for half the episode. <laughs> what do you mean, yes. half? <laughs> It was basically the entire episode. For God's sake. <laughs> right. Can you stop? If you like what we do, <laughs> why don't you hit that like button? Drop a comment down below with any of your like, favorite bits or, I don't know, some whatever you want. Hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can see when we put up new content. Yeah. All that good stuff. Yeah. But for now. And in the meantime, I'm going to get some water <laughs> for my yep. throat. Taylor needs to rest his vocal cords, but until then, we will see you in the next episode. Yeah. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> 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 <laughs>